And Gary Sadal with the president and CEO of the Buffalo Science Museum. You've been preparing for this for a very long time as well. That's right. We've done so much to be prepared for today. Erie County generously provided funding for over 300,000 solar glasses, which have been distributed not only through the Buffalo Museum of Science, but through the public library system and over 100 other partners as well. So that's been the front line of our efforts. And the Community Foundation of Greater Buffalo generously provided funding for a part-time eclipse coordinator who really orchestrated all of our activities for the past six months. Was that a lesson that you learned last time around? Because I can remember the, the kind of crazy scramble for glasses back in 17. Uh, and it seems like we've learned a lesson, huh? I think you're right on that. You know, probably two things. One, this is a total eclipse where right. we only had a partial eclipse the last time. And the second part of that is like good scientists, we took in new information, adjusted our strategy, and have now been at the forefront of that glasses distribution. Now, sunglasses are not enough. They just That's don't right. protect your eyes enough, even in cloudy weather. If folks don't have eclipse glasses today, though, what do you recommend they do? We certainly recognize that there might be a situation where you either have forgotten your glasses or that you didn't acquire them ahead of time, the best thing you can do now is probably lean on a friend, lean on someone standing next to you and borrow those eclipse glasses. We're going to experience totality for over three minutes, almost three minutes and 45 seconds. So there's a huge opportunity to trade those glasses back and forth in case you don't have a pair of your own. And during totality, those three minutes and 45 seconds, you can actually take your glasses off, That's right? That's right, exactly. So really, it's the moments leading up to the eclipse that you're going to want those glasses. You can see the moon beginning to eclipse in front of the sun. But during totality, you can pull those glasses off, and hopefully these clouds are going to clear out of the way so we can actually see that beautiful corona. Excellent. All right, Gary Sadal, we will check back in with you in a few minutes. We're so lucky to have experts with us right here on Channel 2 throughout the day to uh, let us know what to expect and how to prepare.